In this lecture, we'll talk about the distribution of authority with respect to whether it's centralized or decentralized. The extent to which authority is delegated throughout an organization determines what's called the degree of centralization. It refers to how authority, is the authority to allocate resources and the like, is distributed around the organization. In centralized organizations, authority is concentrated at the top, the center, if you will, and very little uh, decision-making authority is delegated to lower levels. Although decision-making authority in centralized organizations rests at the top levels of management, a vast amount of responsibility for carrying out daily routine procedures can be, still be delegated to even the lowest levels of the organization. The work being done locally can be decentralized, even though the authority for deciding what to do and how to allocate resources is centralized. Over-centralization can cause serious problems for a company at times because it can take, it can slow down decision making and, and make decision making subject to communication errors and sometimes to political risk because politi people might spin the information that's brought to the center in ways that satisfy them or support their particular uh, rise to power or their uh, desire to accumulate resources. It, in, it can also cause decision making to go to go uh, to, to be um, to take a much longer period of time in organizations. Um, something changes in the environment, the information has to percolate to the top and then a decision has to be made and then it has to be framed and distributed so that the responsibilities for executing day-to-day -day operations are spread through the organization. So there's some good things about it. Decision making is clear and crisp. Everyone knows who's deciding. Bad things about it in that it can be politicized and also because it can, um, to a large degree, uh, slow things down and cause the information that's used for decision making to be a little, um, to be less uh, factual and more uh, politically uh, or, or argued, if you will. In a decentralized organization, in contrast, decision-making authority is delegated down into the organization. Uh, the degree to which it's delegated further and further down is the degree to which the organization is uh, decentralized. Decentralization is paramount or is critical uh, when organizations operate in complex and unpredictable environments. Um, when the, the speed of decision making is of paramount importance because uh, things are changing so rapidly and reactions to them can add value to the organization and, and, uh, and uh, allow it to reach its objectives. Um, delegating, delegating the uh, authority to lower levels can therefore increase productivity, particularly when those decisions are necessary for, for action or to, to uh, reach the, the needs of the marketplace or to respond to changes in the environment. Um, decentralization, however, also requires that lower level managers have strong decision making skills. They have the information that they need to make decisions. They have the context, the skills, the expertise, the advice, etc., to make skills appropriately in this decentralized manner. The complement to centralization, decentralization is this, how, the, how many layers of management there are and the responsibilities and authorities of those layers. We'll talk about that in the next lecture.